Hey everyone, uh, this is a new instrument I got this year, a new uh, custom Chapman stick um, that a few people were curious about, so I thought I'd do this little video to, to show you what it's like and, and why it's tuned the way it is. So I've been playing mirrored fourths uh, for the last 16 years or so. Um, six bass, six melody, and um, after using it for for several years, I realized I didn't use the lowest melody string all that much, the sixth melody string. So I thought it would be more useful to have uh, a higher bass string instead. Um, I start on a low bass E, um, just so that the right, the you get enough, you get a good pitch range for for chords and things like that. So with an even higher bass string, uh, there's even more flexibility as to as to what you can do. Um, so I, I received this in April. Um, uh, I had uh, asked Emmett about this last year, and um, and he said that it was something they could do to do this um, five by seven uh, configuration. Um, so it, there's a there's a custom pickup here um, with the grouping, the seven five grouping. You can see this. Um, so yeah, uh, Grace did this. Uh, uh, custom uh, pickup. Um, I've been using the passive four for 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 the past 16 years, but uh, I kind of missed the sort of acoustic 3D quality of the of the stick up. It's just like a lot of rich harmonic uh, information in, in in there that I that I kind of missed from from a stick up uh, grand I had you know quite quite some time ago. Um, so. So yeah, so a, a lot of what I typically do um, with the bass and fourths is do chords where you have the root down here in the, on one of those lower bass strings and then the rest of the chord way up high. So. Um, so what, what the extra string does is you, you have even from uh, more um, you can open things up even more. So you could have a low note down here and play the rest of it on the top three strings. And then the chords I've been doing before with uh, six strings, you can now play those those full chords on either the lowest or with a string higher than that. the other direction a lot of time most of the time um, I'm playing the root with the, the middle um, uh, one of these three fingers and it leaves the index finger open for, for like that sort of rhythmic backbeat stuff that I do a lot So now, with with uh, with that uh, seventh string, you could do things like this, which is cool because uh, before with the low bass E, it was hard to do uh, a chord above that because typically the it, the root will start up here and then the rest of the chord will kind of be behind it. So now I could do something like this. So yeah, it's really cool. I, I have a hard time going back to six strings now because of um, how much uh, flexibility you have now with chord voicings. And, and so I've always kind of liked that sound where, where it's sort of like a bass plus like a the, the lowest few strings of an acoustic guitar, those nice close voicings with uh, suspensions and things. Nice things about uh, this tuning that I do a lot is, is um, rather than just arpeggiate chords, um, uh, hold some of the notes and then while adding in like fills either uh, either down below on the bass or 
higher up, kind of like um, uh, acoustic guitar um, uh, finger style playing. So. <laughs> So I'd, I'd be uh, interested in doing uh, more videos on this if, if there's interest, uh, if there's any questions you might have about the tuning, um, anything you want to know more about, um, yeah, just let me know, uh, send me a comment, and um, yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, I love talking about this stuff, so um, happy to... Uh, talk more about about my approach on the instrument and uh, the tuning I use so thanks for watching